Hello to all dears, interested in fixed focus welcome to your program. I will try to explain all the things in the fixed focus system in different videos. And if something is unclear to you, write it in the comments so that I can make a video about it. Have you ever thought that the fixed focus system has a flaw? In the fixed focus system, the focal point does not have a cover and it must have a cover. In this program, I want to create a cover for the focus. A hot focus without a cover, especially in cold areas, will cause the focus to lose energy. Suppose you have two pieces of metal of the same material, one of them has a temperature of 300 degrees and the other has a temperature of 100 degrees. According to the law of heat mechanics, energy exchange will be higher in metal with high temperature. Therefore, objects that have more heat transfer more energy to the environment in a shorter time. That is, with the increase in temperature, the energy loss will increase. In order to prevent the heat loss of the focus, we should consider a suitable cover for it. In the case of the fixed focus system, there is a problem that the energy loss of the focus will be high. This problem will be more obvious when the system works in cold areas. In cold regions, in addition to witnessing cold winds, the sun is also on the horizon. It means that both the sun has less power and the energy loss of the focus is more. Therefore, the focus must have a suitable cover for that purpose. From a simple and normal steel bars whose length is proportional to the place of placement on the focus. An ordinary metal can relate it to food, which is very light and its opening is suitable for this focus. Now the system focus is hot and nothing can be done on it. I turn off the tracker and move the moving part. Now the tracker is turned off and we let the focus cool down. And we go back for measurement. Now the focus has cooled and I can make a series of marks. I do the marking on steel bar and metal can. Let's go for cutting and welding. I weld two iron L to iron bar. Well, now I have riveted the two L to the can, and I welded two to the beginning and end. I cut the height of the can in proportion to the focus. Another solution is to make a connection between the can and a ring around the base of the connection center with some thin wires. For big dishes, you can choose a bigger cover. For small dishes, the protector should not make a big shadow on the dish. For large dishes, use mineral wool for insulation inside the cup. Now I put the protector on the focus and drill holes on both sides and then screw. Now the protector is fixed and the moving part rotates easily. Now we have to make a gap on the can. That the reflection of the solar dish hits the focus easily. For this, we consider a straight line between the edge of the diameter of the dish and the center of the focal point. 
I do this with a tape measure and make a mark on the can for the cut. I do the same for the other side of the dish. Now I open the screws and cut the can. Let's go for cutting the can. Now I drew two straight lines following the marks. And focus area of light I will cut. This line and this line and the upper line. Now you can see that this part has been cut. I sandpaper down the steel bar and the cut edge of the can. To insulate the shield, you can use mineral wool inside it. Well, I put it back on the focus after the cut. Now you can see that the focus is clearly defined and has a small distance from the shield. Of course, you can use better boxes for protection for large dishes. And you will certainly do it much better. Fortunately, in the fixed focus system, there are two bases on both sides of the focus to which we can connect the focus protector. Now I will paint the guard. Until the next program, God bless.